Hi folks, in today's video tutorial, I'm going to answer to the question from Brendan if it is possible to create two separate visibility of the model, one straight and second one will be bended. And I have think about what is possible to use, so you will see the couple of advanced feature, how it's possible to do this final product or final model. We can start directly. If you will create new 3D model, you have a datum plane, coordinate system and all this stuff. And I will create the first part of the model. So for example, we will create the simple sketch and I will create, for example, the rectangle. Yeah. So we don't need to specify for now for the dimensions. So any kind of the shape you can bend and you will see how. Yeah. So I will finish this one and I like to create only symmetric one and for example 180 degree. Okay, so I will model only half of the model. Yeah, specify your dimension and confirm OK. Then what I would like to do is to create some cut. So simply and quickly you can specify a custom value and create some dimensions for the quick explanation, I will only the use the default information in something like this. So I'd like to cut these objects. So you can see that half of the object is created and we would like to continue. Right now, I'm starting to use the additional functionality and it's a copy geometry. So you can select the surface in right mouse button. It's possible to select the solid surfaces and system will copy the old geometry. You can use the copy and paste, so control C and control V. And if you will finish, the system will create a copy of this geometry. You can select and with the space bar or you can use the right mouse button and rename. And for example, this will be origin because you would like to understand what I am create. So I will change the information in model tree. Fine. If you will select this feature, you can simply to use the additional function is copy and over here is the paste special. And what I would like to do is apply move and rotate. And if I will come from OK, you can select the axis and specify that you would like to spin this object 100, 180 degree. And right now it looks that is everything fine like we really need. Perfect. And what we would like to do here, uh, I'd like to again the rename and it will be origin and the name will be spinet. So for example, number two, yeah, origin two. And right now, if I will select this copy, I can use the functionality solidify. So I will finalize the object to solid model. What I don't need to see in the model tree is the first copy geometry, so I can hide. And right now, if you will not have a look in the model tree, but only on the model, so you have a final shape what you want. So it looks good. It's everything what we need for now. And I'd like to focus and specify some couple of information here. So for example, I'd like to suppress these two features or maybe it will be better if I will create a group. So I will create a group and the name will be, for example, the R. Doesn't matter. Yeah. So for example, R will be name of the group. And this group for a while I will hide. Yeah. So I'd like to suppress because we don't want to see it for now for a while because I'd like to show you how it's possible to bend feature and for example, we can do it directly after origin. So we will see and I'd like to bend and reuse the function, the spinal bend. But for the feature spinal bend, you can prepare the sketch before. So it's not problem. I can select the sketch plane and orientation plane. If you would like to know more about the spinal bend, please check my previous tutorial. But I'd like to continue. So for example, we will select a couple of references because I like to select and create my custom shape here. Yeah. So it will be better like this. And I will create line here, straight line, because this part of part will be straight. Maybe I can extend this end so you can use the control button and system will 
extend the line and then from this end of the curve I like to create the tangent curve yeah tangent arc and over here we would like to have some gaps so please specify your custom value for the gap for example four millimeters and will be like this I think that will be fine and yeah the reference plane has to be removed and then the system automatically allow to use the dimension here okay we can continue and based on the curve we would like to bend this shape so I will use the function spinal bend and if you will select the reference the system asks you about the item so you can select the curve you can use the star point and then reference geometry so you can see right now the my new geometry is banded as I need so please change the shape of the curve specify the dimension and the system will allow to create your custom geometry yeah so everything is about the used sketches and the features so and dimensions fine right now we have the another part and again I will use the same logic so select the surface use right mouse button and solid surface create control C and control V copy and paste and middle button and again maybe we can change the name here that it's a band and again I'd like to copy and paste copy and paste special and rotate around the axis great rotate and 180 degree come from perfect and what was the another feature as previous select copy geometry and use the solidify feature and finish and band you can hide perfect so right now everything what we have here is definite what I'd like to do is that spinal band and all all this feature I'd like to group again and maybe the group name will be the rename the group and for example will be R2 yeah as the second name of the group what will be happen if you will show both so I will show both and you can see right now that system will show me something really strange so and maybe you can move your sketch here because I'd like to see in the model tree couple of feature what I'm using and then the group R1 and R2 we can say and what does it mean if I will suppress this feature everything's work fine if I will suppress this another feature and resume the first one again it's fine so you can see that this model is working if the first group is visible second one is suppressed or opposite so in this example both group cannot be visible but if you would like to write some comments and information in the pro program because I'd like to show you how it's possible to drive these automatism of the visibility of the feature by pro program you need to show both it's a better for the visualization and you will see it later so let's continue I would like to drive our visualization by parameter so you can create your custom parameter and we can set that this new parameter will be Q you can specify your custom name I'd like to use the string and over here first one will be stride yeah and you know that it's possible to create restriction parameters again about more about the restriction parameters please check the previous tutorial and again I'd like to create the two restriction stride and band okay if I will confirm okay what does it mean system creates for me parameter Q and value will be stride and band for now I'd like to use the stride for example and confirm OK now I'd like to set a couple of information into pro program so if you will select the pro program and edit design the system will show you the pro program or how the model is based by visualization in notepad for example and what we need to found is the group R and R2 yeah this is our names so please go here and try to found the group so you can see here that it's a name origin and you can continue 
group head and name are. So this is my group and from this line the system begins. And you need to check where is the end. So you can see here that previous feature what was created here and then is added a feature. Between end add and add feature I will add additional information and will be restriction. If parameter Q is equal stride, so I will write if Q is equal stride, yeah, the system will create this feature. And you need to find the end of this feature or end of the group, yeah. And you can see where is the another group. So please try to find the another group where is beginning. So over here is the name R2. So over here is end of the group R. And over here we will write end if. Sorry, end if. It was first restriction. If the parameter Q will be straight, these features what we are between if and and if will be created. And again here, so I will continue. I will add another restriction will be not stride, what but will be bent. So if parameter Q is equal equal bent, I will finish the feature with and if. Yeah. So I have to jump at the end, and you can see that over here is the final end at so over here will be and if if you will write everything correctly you can save close and confirm yes and right now you can see that system show me automatically only one feature because based on the parameter the system remember what they need to show you remember if i will select the parameter I would like to not see the stride, I'd like to see the bend, I will come from OK, regenerate, and everything is bended. So the first feature is suppressed, second one is visible, based on the pro program. So again, I will use the stride, yeah, for example only, regenerate, and everything is fine. OK, if you would like to have this another feature here, it's not a problem. You can create revolve feature, extrude feature and so on and finalize your shape of the shaft. So please specify these feature are not necessary for pro program. Yeah. But let's continue to set up the flexibility. If you will select file model properties and over here is the flexible functionality. So select the change. And then please specify that you would like to change by parameters. You have one parameter Q, so I will select and close and confirm OK. And the model is ready to apply the flexibility for the assembly, for example. I'd like to show you, so if we will create new assembly with the name test002, for example, yeah. You can directly include the model into assembly. So in the session is my model double and the system asks me if I would like to use the flexibility. Yes, of course, I'd like to use the flexibility. In the parameters, I can see original value is straight, new value is straight. OK, I'm satisfied. You can use the placement. So please use default, for example. And then if you would like to change the or apply the another one, so I will add one more model. I'd like to use the flexibility and in the parameter I will use the functionality bend. So if I will confirm OK, you can see that system generate the model. And if you will confirm, you have a two different visualization of the object. The first one is straight and second one is bended. What does it mean if you would like to open opposite or create another one? So please specify in the model new group yeah if i will open you can specify new sketch for the opposite direction and then create the group r3 and then specify your custom prop program and drop down menu for the parameter yeah so you will have stride bent up and down and 
what you call it is up to you. So I hope so that on today's video tutorial you have learned a lot of advanced features what is possible to use regarding copy, paste, paste special, flexibility, prop program, definition of the parameters and definition of the flexibility and so on and so on. So I hope so that you will like this video tutorial, share it with your friends, donate or buy me a coffee. Thank you very much and bye bye. Vladimir.